Hey YouTube, how you doing? Uh, today I want to do a quick review on the KWC uh, Smith & Wesson 911 pistol. This is not the Colt, the Colt version that they do. So I'm going to work this from the back of the gun. It's front. Hang on, just let me put my camera down. There you go. So, at the back here you have a pressure safety, but this doesn't work, you see, when you pull it back. You can still fire. It really doesn't make any difference. Then you have a working hammer which I wouldn't recommend really playing with too much because uh, my friends have snapped off. Then you also have a fully working safety. Um, I just caught the hammer back. But, uh, sorry, the safety wasn't on. There you go. Uh, see, it won't fire. Put safety off. There you go. So uh, it's got textured grip. It's not molded at all. Nothing special. Then. This side you have the mag release, what you'd expect. You got the trigger here, it's a pretty short pull actually, you see it doesn't take much. And usually when you get the gun new, you should have a takedown pin here, but mine doesn't because I lost it, so instead I just put like a screw on there and fixed it in place with a nut. So uh it's fully branded, as you see there, it's got the Smith and Wesson logo, don't know if you can see that. Focus damn you. It's not one to focus. Uh, and the Smith & Wesson 1911. This side you have the KWC logo there. You probably won't be able to see that. And you have a load of warning instructions and stuff. And it's a spring pistol. Uh, about It is advertised as 315 feet per second. But I would actually say it's a bit less than that. Like uh, 290, 280, something like that. And... Uh, it hasn't got many metal internals, the only metal thing in there is uh, the springs obviously, the recoil spring, the firing spring, and the outer and inner barrels. So you don't have to worry about like your barrel exploding, because that actually happened on mine, and it, I got like a piece of plastic in my arm which hurt quite a lot. So uh, the magazine, it, see it's weighted and stuff, it's 12 rounds, it's quite small actually, it's very small compared the gun it's really sort of thin I've got 10 BBs in there removed and what you do you just pull down the spring push this little button on top like that and put your BBs in you can pour or feed them in just one by one and so you just put it in the gun like that and then you it's just the position I'm at can't really cock it cock it like that push it forwards and there you go I'll try not to kill my hamster Okay, and uh, in a minute I'm just going to go outside and do a quick firing review of it. So thank you for watching this part of it. So I'm going to do it in two parts hopefully. Bye bye.